Good day, this 59th day, Meaningful Moments, 365 days. This morning, I had a experience, an experience, that was rather old but new at the same time, right back there. While cooking on my stove, cooking with fire that is, old because for the last several years we've had electric stoves not really to my liking but adjusted and then today it was a delight to forget that i had a gas stove or a fire stove now gas and that um i was going to cook now with fire again and this meaningful moment happened when i was cooking some scrambled eggs and as I was cooking them I realized that there was more of this relationship with the interplay of fire adjusting it controlling the temperature and that I felt more certain in this realm and more engaged in the cooking experience this way I'm no chef although I do like to cook and I realized that it's a whole different experience when you're cooking with fire. And that made me think of how it's been as of recent. We have a fireplace, it's not a natural fireplace, so it is a gas fireplace. Not quite the same as when you have logs, of course, and you're actually burning wood, because all these um, opportunities are experiences that we have with the elements, with fire. And all of this is kind of interconnected in this unusual way for me because I've been participating more with different kinds of fire ceremonies and the element of fire as a way to use it for transformation. And fire in and of itself is something we think of like, oh, be careful, don't play with fire. And yet this morning while I was cooking, I felt like I'm kind of playing with fire when I'm adjusting my gas fireplace and the fire comes up, I'm thinking, oh, I'm kind of playing with fire. And it's a different experience than just, you know, your furnace heat. So this fire element has been around and I realized that, you know, for the last several years, the water element has been so strong and it still is strong. Um, such a healing element to use consciously, but now fire and you know, I can think of so many different ways to play with that fire, ways that we tweak. And in this idea of this process of spiritual transformation, spiritual alchemy, there's this tweaking we have to do, similar to me scrambling these eggs this morning or adjusting the fireplace. But there's this fire element and the inclination is to learn to play with it learn to move through it, learn to be unafraid of what that transformation and transfiguration is, which is calling to so many of us at this time. And so I'm really thankful to be working with this element and to keep fire close nearby me right now. And in these winter months, in these blessings of the new full moon, also called the snow moon, to be receiving that element and really understanding that interplay, that exchange that's unique to the fire element and really allowing it to work with me and help to transform because life is just a continual transformation. So perhaps you are transforming. Perhaps you have fire nearby, whether it's in your home, even a candle. We've done some webinars on the four elements before and different ways to bring nature in from outside and things like that. So hopefully you've picked up some tips from that, or you can go to YouTube and find them as well um, on our YouTube channel. Or maybe you're fortunate to have a bonfire outside in the middle of winter. How fun would that be? But whatever way you have fire in your life, 
for whatever ways you're transforming in your life forever for, for whatever ways you're playing and cooking with fire may it provide you with all the know-how of how to tweak and adjust and make those necessary changes to allow you to have that full experience of life blessings upon your day I hope